Today, the BJP strategy for the forthcoming assembly elections in five states will come up for extensive discussion at the party's national executive meeting. The key organizational body of the party is meeting for the first time following the COVID-19 outbreak. BJP General Secretary Arun Singh said 124 national executive members, including Prime Minister Modi, Party President Nadda, and many union leaders will uh, union ministers, pardon me, will attend the meeting physically. Members based in various states, including chief ministers, will join it virtually in line with COVID protocol. Akshay joining us with the latest on that. Uh, Akshay, what's on the agenda? Well, uh, Ankita, if we are looking at the agenda, then clearly the upcoming uh, state polls is going to be one of the most talked agenda as far as the uh, national executive meeting uh, of, of the Bharti Janta Party is concerned. There will be a valedictory address by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And uh, uh, from uh, from the looks of it, the Bharti Janta Party is going to be uh, uh, defensive uh, as far as uh, the COVID outbreak is concerned and the way uh, uh, the Bharti Janata Party led a central government handled it across the country. Uh, uh, as far as the price of fuel is concerned, which is uh, one of the uh, most talk, uh, topic as far as uh, the politics in this country is concerned right now, uh, it is uh, Bharti Janata Party is expected to be on offensive as far as the opposition is concerned, especially uh, as far as the reduction of VAT uh, is concerned. So these are two... Uh, Topic that are, that are that are likely to come up as far as the 124 member national executive is concerned. This is going to be, like you rightly mentioned, a hybrid model uh, with uh, most of the members present in the national capital and those uh, regional members, including the chief minister, who cannot come, they can join in uh, virtually. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, after Prime Minister's address, uh, it will be JP Nanda who will be taking over uh, uh, and will then deliver uh, the inaugural address. Uh, but one of the most important uh, aspect as far as this national executive is concerned is that this is coming in the backdrop uh, of the result uh, to 29 assembly and 3 uh, Lok Sabha by uh, which which happened in 13 states. And while the Bharti Janata Party did well in Assam and Madhya Pradesh, uh, we have seen that how uh, the party was defeated in the state of Himachal Pradesh. So that is going to be a major concern. Also, uh, the way the Trinamool Congress defeated the Bharti Janata Party uh, in the state of West Bengal is going to be a major concern. Uh, so uh, the upcoming five states, uh, the uh, uh, as far as the introspection that why uh, the party was defeated in the state of Himachal Pradesh, which also uh, will be seeing polls is concerned, is going to be a major concern, but also uh, the state of Punjab, Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh is going to be one of the most uh, important aspects of the national executive uh, and how the campaigning has to go on and how the party will be uh, showcasing the work that was done uh, during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and how it will defend against the attacks by the opposition uh, is going to be uh, discussed as far as this national executive meeting is concerned. Ankita? Right. All right, Akshay. Thanks very much indeed for joining us with those details.